in this video i will show you my homemade bazooka which is very powerful and it shoots this it's a spike iron spike it is used to remove uh, tire of motorcycle it's very heavy it's around 202 grams i have uh, weighed it and this is my homemade uh, bazooka which is powered by air it's sort of a pcp air gun you could say or uh, i don't know what to call it and now i am show going to show you uh, how i made this first of all i used a very thick pvc pipe which is very strong and uh, it is used in uh, water supplies and it can hold very high pressure because it's very thick and it's also flexible to fall i had i used a pvc pipe of about 1 ft in length and i put an end cap on one side and a shredder valve which i removed from bike tire and i put it here and tighten the nut so i can uh, pressurize this system and uh, this is the air container or you could say pressurized chamber and this is a ball valve uh, it is simple ball valve which can hold around 400 psi of pressure it's straight and uh, this barrel i have made around it's around 2 and 1/2 ft of uh, pvc pipe and i use it as a barrel and i just made simple threads on here you can see maybe these i just forced it into this cone and these threads automatically form and i have just uh, attached this to this uh, uh, part very tightly with glue and now it's it's also threads and glue uh, i have used threads to lock it in place and i used glue so that no air can leak from this part and uh, there are no leaks here and now i will show you how to put this together Uh, these are there are threads inside this pipe and uh, these threads i just uh, line them up and then i tight turn this as much as i can and now it's completely uh, solid this fits very snugly here you can see you can listen by this sound that it creates because it's creating a vacuum when it's pulled because it's uh, almost same diameter as this pipe internal diameter that's enough of a talk now i am going to show you uh, filling of this and then i will shoot it i pulled this compressor from a scrap refrigerator it was producing only 60 psi of uh, pressure although these uh, in refrigerator which where they compress refrigerant they produce around 600 to 800 psi of pressure i cut it here from this seam you can see and i removed the top and uh, the problem was in the gasket and i made a gasket from paper cereal box paper and i put it there and tightened the nuts and then i uh, first of all welded from two sides from one and there then i completely sealed it with hot glue uh, and this is line coming from uh, high pressure line coming and this is the intake where high pressure is sucked it produces a vacuum also so we can maybe use this some day uh, now it produces around 350 psi of pressure simply attach it like push it and then i snugly fit it and then i release it and then i am going to uh, turn on this compressor so it's now pressurizing our cannon or what you call it, bazooka whatever it usually takes around 1 uh, minute to completely pressurize this piece of pipe it will so now it i will push it down like this our projectile is sitting right in this portion as i will open this valve very quickly all the air pressurized air will try to escape from this side where it can uh, find its path and in doing so our projectile will be accelerated
Oh my god. This was lot of power and I I feel very huge amount of recoil because this is very heavy projectile so it kicked back a lot. It's pretty deep sunking here. It penetrated this much amount into our wood. You have seen what this heavy piece of metal around 200 gram and it's traveling. I have measured it with slow motion camera setup and I uh, measured the frame uh, took to complete a distance and then I calculated its velocity. It was around 120 FPS, 120 feet per second. If we calculate its energy in foot pounds, we get around 100 foot pounds of uh, energy which is crazy because it is not a lot of uh, uh, parts and it's very simple and uh, to get this amount of energy it's very impressive at least for me now i will try to shoot this arrow which does not have any fletching on it and it's a sharp point i have centered it to a sharp point so it has an advantage in penetrating we'll put some of this setup and then I am going to put my arrow it's a very tight fit so it should work completely fine now I am going to push the arrow all the way down at this place with an additional arrow Now I am going to try this for third time and now I have completely sealed the back end of the arrow so no air can leak through past the arrow without pushing it outward. So now we hope, I hope that I will get a lot more penetration because I hope so. So now I shoot again and let's see. It, now it has penetrated fully let's see if it came through other side whoa our arrow has just passed from other side and this is this is this much thick wood this is around one inch thick wood completely and it has completely passed through it and you can see in the right here it went and there it came out from this side that's pretty impressive man this much amount of wood and this time i used this cloth and i actually fold it four times like this first time like this and then this and then i put my arrow and put it inside this barrel oh man i don't believe it at all now I am going to see if I can pull it or not because it does not look that it's coming no but I try to hammer it from other side maybe it can put come This is digging into this itself. Man, this is not coming. This is not coming at all. As you can see, I have flattened this completely and it's not coming out. It's very, it did not move at all. Now I am going to uh, do a modification which is I am going to install a bigger cylinder here or maybe bottom side. The problem with this is I think that it's not a lot of volume of air. Although it's high pressure it's around 350 psi but its volume is uh, lot ar around one foot and you have seen that pressure and volume are inversely proportional to one another. Uh, so if you increase the volume 
you will decrease the pressure by same ratio. If you increase the volume by 50%, you will reduce the pressure by 50%. So if it's uh, around one, and this is a lot of barrel. So my guess is that when the projectile is traveling through this barrel, the pressure is going to reduce. So it must be put pushing our projectile slower as it moves down the barrel because volume is increasing and uh, so that pressure should be decreasing. Now I will put a higher volume cylinder and uh, maybe we will try some different projectiles as well. And I also I am going to try out in the future replacing this bell valve with a solenoid valve. But the problem with solenoid valve is they don't like high pressure. They don't work at high pressure. Uh, they only are rated around 100 and 20 psi max I have seen but I will try to find some high pressure solenoids or modify one which could handle high pressure so that will be in the future videos so I hope you have liked this video if you uh, liked it and want to see more of these please subscribe my channel it will help me a lot for now I will see you in next video till then take care and bye bye